In everyday life, we take for granted that Earth orbits the Sun in a near-perfect ellipse while also spinning on its own axis. But have you ever wondered why this motion remains so stable over billions of years? And will it last forever? Or is Earth slowly drifting toward a different fate? Earth's motion is governed by gravity and momentum, working in a delicate balance. The Sun's gravity constantly pulls Earth inward, while Earth's forward motion prevents it from falling in, keeping it locked in orbit. This is the same reason why satellites orbit planets and why the Moon orbits Earth. It's all about the perfect balance of forces. At the same time, Earth spins on its axis, creating our 24-hour day-night cycle. This spin is a leftover effect from when the planet formed, and due to the conservation of angular momentum, it continues unless acted upon by external forces. But what could disrupt this balance? One factor is that the Sun is slowly losing mass as it burns its fuel, causing its gravitational pull to weaken slightly. This means that over time, Earth's orbit is very slowly expanding at a rate of about 1.5 cm per year. On the other hand, tidal interactions with the Moon are gradually slowing Earth's rotation, meaning our days are getting a few milliseconds longer every century. These changes are tiny but add up over millions of years. So, what is Earth's ultimate fate? If left undisturbed, Earth will likely drift outward very slowly as the Sun continues to lose mass. However, in about 5 billion years, the Sun will expand into a red giant, possibly engulfing Earth or at least dramatically altering our orbit. If the Sun sheds enough mass, Earth might escape entirely. Long before that happens, though, our planet's climate will be severely affected, making it uninhabitable. <laughs> The remarkable stability of Earth's motion is a testament to the laws of physics, but it is not eternal. Tiny forces act over immense timescales, subtly reshaping our cosmic journey. If Earth is slowly moving away from the Sun, could other planets also experience similar long-term shifts? Could this understanding help us predict the long-term evolution of planetary systems across the universe? The study of planetary orbits not only tells us about Earth's past, but may also help us understand the fate of other worlds beyond our solar system. Earth follows an elliptical orbit around the Sun due to gravitational interactions with the Sun at one of the foci of this orbit. The stability of this motion is governed by Newton's laws of motion and Kepler's laws, which describe how planets move in nearly constant orbits due to a balance between gravitational attraction and centrifugal force. Over long periods, gravitational perturbations from other planets and small energy exchanges with the Sun slowly alter the orbit, but these changes are minuscule over human timescales. Astronomical simulations show that Earth's orbit has remained stable for over 4.5 billion years, with only minor oscillations in eccentricity and axial tilt due to interactions with Jupiter and Venus. This is similar to a marble rolling inside a shallow bowl. While small nudges may cause minor deviations, the overall motion remains stable unless a massive external force is applied. Earth rotates on its axis due to the conservation of angular momentum, a fundamental principle in physics that ensures rotating bodies maintain their motion unless acted upon by an external force. This rotation was established during Earth's formation when colliding planetary bodies imparted angular momentum to the young planet. The speed of Earth's rotation is gradually slowing due to tidal interactions with the Moon, but the process is extremely slow, occurring over millions of years. Precise measurements show that Earth's rotation is slowing by about 1.7 milliseconds per century due to the Moon's gravitational influence. Like a spinning top gradually slowing due to friction, Earth's rotation is gradually affected by tidal forces, but it will take billions of years before noticeable changes occur. Stimulations of the solar system's future suggest that Earth's orbit will remain stable for at least the next hundreds of millions to billions of years. However, due to the Sun's gradual loss of mass as it burns fuel, Earth's orbit is slowly expanding. The Sun will eventually become a red giant in about 5 billion years, increasing in size and potentially engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. Um, studies estimate that Earth's orbit will expand by about 1.5% over the next few billion years due to the Sun losing mass through solar wind and nuclear fusion processes. This is like a tethered ball slowly moving outward as the central mass holding the tether decreases in weight. Eventually, the force maintaining the orbit weakens, 
and the ball drifts away. Earth's distance from the sun is influenced by gravitational interactions with other planets, but these effects are too weak to significantly shift its position in the near future. However, in the extremely distant future, if a large planetary body or rogue star passes near the solar system, it could alter Earth's orbit significantly. More realistically, the sun's evolution into a red giant will cause Earth's environment to change drastically, making it uninhabitable long before any large-scale orbital changes occur. Computational models predict that Mercury and Venus are at greater risk of destabilization than Earth, with Mercury possibly being ejected from the solar system in the next 3-4 billion years due to gravitational interactions. This is like a well-balanced carousel. So long as no external force disrupts it, the motion remains predictable. But if a strong push is introduced, it can alter the ride completely. The gravitational forces exerted by other planets, especially Jupiter and Venus, cause small perturbations in Earth's orbit, leading to periodic oscillations in eccentricity and axial tilt over 100000 to 400000 years these oscillations contribute to climate cycles such as ice ages but they do not significantly threaten earth's overall orbital stability the chaotic nature of planetary interactions means that predicting exact long-term motion beyond a billion years becomes increasingly difficult the Milankovitch cycles, driven by changes in Earth's orbit and tilt, have influenced Earth's climate history and contributed to past ice ages. This is similar to how ocean waves slightly shift the path of a floating buoy. While small adjustments occur, the buoy does not suddenly drift far from its usual location unless a major force is applied. As the sun ages, it will expand into a red giant increasing in size until its outer layers extend past Earth's current orbit. At this point, Earth's surface temperatures will rise drastically, causing the oceans to evaporate and the atmosphere to be stripped away. Long before this happens, the sun's increasing luminosity will make Earth uninhabitable within the next one, two billion years. Hmm. Astronomical models predict that by one billion years from now, Earth will experience extreme greenhouse effects, causing surface temperatures to exceed 100 dg dc, boiling away the oceans. This is like a campfire getting gradually hotter. The closer you are, the more unbearable the heat becomes until it is impossible to stay near it. One proposed long-term survival strategy is using gravitational interactions or asteroid flybys to gradually shift Earth's orbit outward over millions of years. This concept, known as stellar engineering, suggests that repeated close encounters with large asteroids or controlled thrusts could push Earth into a safer, wider orbit before the Sun becomes a red giant. However, such efforts would require technological advancements far beyond current capabilities. Scientists have theorized that using a large asteroid as a gravitational tugboat could move Earth's orbit outward by 1.5 AU over the next billion years, keeping it in a habitable zone longer. This is like slowly nudging a satellite into a higher orbit using controlled thrusts. It requires precise calculations, but is theoretically possible if a large celestial object, such as a passing rogue planet disrupted Earth's orbit, the consequences could be catastrophic. A slight inward shift could increase surface temperatures, disrupting ecosystems, while an outward shift could plunge the planet into a deep freeze. However, the likelihood of such a drastic event is extremely low given the current stability of the solar system. Simulations show that a passing star within 0.1 light years of the solar system could destabilize planetary orbits but such events occur only once every 100 billion years on average. This is like a billiard ball suddenly being struck off course. Small perturbations may occur naturally, but major disruptions require an external force. Barring unexpected astrophysical events, Earth's orbit will remain stable for at least another 5 billion years until the Sun's transformation into a red giant. By then, the planet will likely be uninhabitable due to increasing solar radiation, forcing humanity, if still present, to seek alternatives such as colonization of other planets or artificial habitats. Whether Earth ultimately survives depends on its ability to migrate outward or escape the sun's expanding envelope. Studies predict that Earth could remain habitable for another 500 million to 1 billion years, with gradual migration outward extending that window by a few billion years if engineered properly. Like an aging house in a flood zone, Earth's long-term survival depends on whether it can be reinforced or relocated before the inevitable environmental changes take over.